Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, it's Jonathan. I've kind of been busy and I've been away from from doing any kind of uh, videos and honestly just any kind of uh, of outdoor stuff period. Um, I've gotten really caught up with uh, with life and a lot that's going on. Uh, we're in the process of moving and uh, some stuff fell through and it's just been really really stressful. So uh, you know it's one of those things. Um, but I got an idea today, um, and I know it's been done before, um, hands down, I know it's been done, but I think what makes it unique is, uh, is it's, it's different, um, for every person, uh, I guess that, that would be willing to share it. So, um, I had the idea of, um, what we carry on our person, not just, uh, the typical like bug out bag or get home bag that a lot of people emphasize on um that stuff's great you know if you're uh if you're in an area or you know if something were to happen my main concern wouldn't necessarily be zombies uh my main concern would be like a natural disaster uh where i'm at here in texas um the beginning of spring and then uh before summer and fall uh, kind of collide is whenever we tend to have really bad storms. We tend to have, uh, you know, lightning, tornadoes, um, just the works, and it just it happens like that. So um, I tend to kind of think about what do I want to have on me um, or in reach if something like that were to happen. Uh, not necessarily like the, the whole bug out or prepping, um, which I'm not knocking that at all, but, uh, it's, for me, it's more practical to think, uh, a natural disaster. Um, so with that, um, we can all put together bags. We can all go and get huge bags and, uh, an everyday kit, CDC stuff and put that stuff, you know, cram it full of, of goods and, tools and food and all that stuff but what um what i think is more important than that sorry let me adjust this a little bit what i think is more important than that is what do you have on your person um what do you immediately have on you all the time that can you know affect your outcome if something were to happen um now i'm not saying that i carry around uh, a space blanket or a tarp in my back pocket all the time um, and that you know I'm carrying uh, a stainless steel container on my hip I, more practical stuff um, my background used to be in construction and welding and uh, woodwork stuff and uh, you know for for the longest time I carried a Leatherman uh, multi-tool with me and um, Honestly, I still probably would if it wasn't for the fact that uh, I lost the one that I used for that stuff. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. There's two rabbits running back and forth right out here. And, uh, yeah. So, um, and I used to carry one with me all the time. Um, and I used it for kind of the, the rough and tough uh, abusing it and whatnot. And the one that I carry in my bag um, all the time with me is still, you know, I use it for all kinds of stuff and still, you know, it's 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 not by any means babied, but it's not specific to what I was doing, like my, my career, like construction stuff, being able to cut PVC pipe, being able to file down uh, rough edges on, a, on, you know, a piece of metal, um, you know, that kind of stuff, cutting electrical wire. I feel like that's more practical for a career, not necessarily uh, outdoor survival stuff. So I'm going to get to my actual bag, uh, my backpack that I carry with me everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Uh, I always have it in my truck and it's always with me at work. And it's, it's both function as carrying books and stuff that I want to read and write down. Um, if I want to, you know, do a song or, you know, have a, a lyric or something come through my head because I write music and sing, but also a way to carry a tarp or to carry a canteen or something. So, 
Um, but yeah, immediately on my person. Um, so, uh, first off, I guess, uh, my wedding ring. Um, to me, this is, this is just as important as, uh, as anything else because this keeps me sober minded. Um, more to do with my faith and what I believe, and I'm not going to preach at you, but, uh, it just reminds me of a greater cause of a greater purpose of something more to live for and to work for and to strive for, um, every day. And, uh, I think just having this on, if everything else was stripped from me, um, would give me a mental edge that I wouldn't have if, uh, if I were to lose it and, um, and something bad happened. It's a ring, so it, it doesn't represent, you know, my wife or my, my marriage. Um, and if it was, you know, my finger was ripped off or something crazy, uh, it wouldn't take away what I believe is my, you know, my goal in life and to be a good hu husband. Um, but this sure would help me. It's something that I can physically hold and cherish. It's it's kind of like uh, the movies you see, like World War II movies, where they have a locket of the picture of the girl that they love, and they want to get back to her. Like, it's more than just a memory. You know, it's a physical object. Um, second is uh, a watch. Uh, I don't necessarily uh, have a certain watch to recommend to you, um, but I used to wear a watch for a long time, years and years and years. And then I stopped wearing one. Um, it got in the way when I was doing welding stuff. And there, there's just no watch that can, uh, that can withstand, you know, that heat and those sparks and all that. So I stopped wearing one. Um, and since then, you know, I'm no longer doing that. So I started wearing it again. Uh, this one happens to be uh, a Casio G-Shock. Uh, it was uh, actually a gift from my parents. Um, and it's a solar powered one. So that one's really, that's really cool. It's, it's by far the best watch I've ever had. And I would have never bought it for myself. I just, I'm fine with the, uh, with the Walmart watches. So, uh, I'd really try to take care of this one. Um, third is, and I'm going to stand up here. So excuse me for showing you my midsection. Third are my keys. Um, I always have my truck keys on me, house keys. But on my keys, I have a Gerber Shred or Shard. I think it's Shard. Um, it is. Let me see if I can get the focus here. It is a a little pocket tool, and I just wrap some paracord around it. It's got a can opener, um, or a, a bottle opener, a Phillips head, and two different size flat heads, and also a little pry bar. But the cool thing about this too is the back side of this is just sharp enough to scrape a ferro rod. Um, it's one of those things that you don't realize how uh, handy it is. And it doesn't take up a lot of room on my keychain. It's not big and bulky. So, um, And then the two main things that I always have uh, on me for sure, uh, or actually four, sorry, I meant four, um, is a pin light. This one's really, really worn down. And it's actually worn in to my jeans. Most all my jeans have this uh, have this outline from that in my pocket knife. This is a, a 511 uh, A Tech light. It's not it's not too too bright, and honestly, it's starting to go out um, because I have a, I have a bad habit of uh, of holding it in my mouth while I'm doing something with my hands and I've noticed that it's gotten a little corroded down here but it's just bright enough that uh you know it gets the job done so that's always in my pocket and then along with that is my pocket knife now I'm not trying to endorse uh any kind of knife or anything I've carried all kinds of stuff, um, Benchmade, Gerber, uh, Kershaw, all of them. Um, this is just one that I just haven't been able to mess up. 
Um, it's one that just has just stood the test of time, and it holds a pretty decent edge. So uh, it's what I've stuck with, and the main thing is that uh, the spine on this knife, it came already sharp. It, it came 90 degrees almost. I mean, it's it's right there at it, and it, it throws sparks, you know, plenty well enough um, for me. So uh, it's, a, it's a K bar, surprisingly. Um, it's kind of got a, almost like a bush hog point to it, uh, like a spear point. Um, and uh, it fits really well in my hands. It's got my Carta handles um, and the uh, locking mechanism is on the inside, which I like that. Um, and it's, uh, I believe it's uh, AUS uh, steel. I think that's what it is, AUS. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but it holds a decent edge uh, for it to be a good work knife. But I just like the fact that it's big um, and uh, it's... Uh, it's really burly, but it's a K bar and it's actually a dozer design. Um, dozer knives out of Arkansas. He did a collab with K bar. Um, so I have that with me all the time. And uh, another quick note um, I was up at work uh, one evening and we, we sometimes get together on the back of the property and have uh, little gatherings with, uh, you know, a fire going and, and hanging out. You know, I'll bring my guitar sometimes. And, uh, they knew that I'd just gotten back from, uh, you know, up in Ohio at the Pathfinder Gathering and stuff, and I'd been telling them about, you know, practicing this and practicing that. And uh, one of the coworkers kind of called me out and was like, hey, man, uh, make a fire doing uh, that, that bow drill thing. And I was like, well, I've got, I've got a set that's drying out in my truck right now, um, but uh, I don't have a handhold. So uh, I dug around in the fire, uh, the fire, the firewood stack, and found one I thought would work, and uh, like you know, it seemed to be hardwood. And I actually used uh, another piece and batoned my handhold with this because this is the only blade I had on me. I didn't have a big, you know, fixed blade or anything on my hip. This was the only blade I had on me, and I batoned with this and it held up perfect. So I'm not saying I'm gonna do it all the time and that this is the knife to get because you can baton with it, but uh, I have done it. Um, I don't wanna do it again because I really do like this knife, but it is possible. Um, so I have that. And then I always carry uh, a big lighter and uh, it was kinda cool seeing uh, one of the clothing confidence series that uh, Justin Wolf and uh, Larry Roberts did about um, if your lighter gets wet and re, you know being able to use it still, um, that's actually a trick that I've done for I don't know how many years um, removing that child safety uh, on the wheel um, because it just makes it easier to light and uh, he actually showed me. On, uh, Justin Wolf actually showed me about rubbing it backwards on your pants to dry it out faster and I had no idea that that it would do that so that was kind of cool because I had been removing that for years uh, and I did it just for the sole purpose that it makes it easy to light um, but I didn't know that it had more than than just that function on it so I always have a lighter always um, I used to um, I used to carry a little small one but uh, but yeah, this I just I always have a big lighter with me, and then um, I carry a ferro rod with a lanyard on it and gorilla tape on the end. This is a big one. Um, there for a while, uh, I was carrying um, the Nanotech uh, or the the uh, Exotac um, XL striker with the scraper and all that built in. And it's a lot lighter, it's smaller, the rod is a lot smaller, and it was one of those things, if I had to use it, I would. I honestly have never started a fire with that, um, but um, I happened to get a uh, an extra big boy ferro rod, um, besides the one in my sheath, and uh, I rigged it up and used it. So 
um, and use it now. So it also can serve, I guess, as a uh, as a weapon if I want it to. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, so I can literally keep my blade folded in here, and uh, and it'll strike. It'll strike sparks. So it it, it works really well, um, and it's a uh, it's just a pocket knife. So um, the reason why I wanted to do that was because uh, or do this video is because what are you gonna have on you if something is to happen? I mean, literally, what what are you gonna have on your person? Um, because it's it's gonna be that time when you don't have your big bag and you don't have your you know big fixed blade knife with its pretty sheath and stuff when you're gonna be like you know dang it that's what I need the most and these are things that I rely on for not you know not just outdoors things like these are things that you know I use my knife to cut open boxes at work I use it to trim things I use it for all kinds of stuff I sharpen this knife more than any of my other knives because this is the one that get you that gets used the most and it's shown me um, over time that I'm comfortable in carrying this with me if something were to happen um, I use this light this pin light all the time um, the littlest things looking in a corner uh, you know there was a time that my wife and I went to uh, see a movie and the uh, screen went black during the movie and the power went out and actually the uh, the sirens were going off to evacuate the building um, the fire alarms and I was the only person in that theater of like 40 something people that had a flashlight that could show where the exit is uh, it's not a pride thing or I'm, I'm boasting about it but it's I had it and it helped other people too um, ferro rod isn't something that I was carrying you know six years ago five years ago whatever uh, I've, I've added it over the past couple of years because of this stuff because I realize how important being able to make fire when I want when I need to is so um, you know this in itself besides my knife is is the go-to thing this is just my big lighter is just uh, the, the luxury it's it's the heated seats in the car you know so um, just really think about that and if you have uh, things on you um, that you know a little a little tip or trick or something that you've carried with you and you've used it over and over again uh, you know share it with me or post put up your own video um, it, this isn't a challenge or anything but it's just uh, something that I thought was cool that I wanted to share you know uh, I'm not I'm not talking about your leather pouch and your fire kit and all this stuff that you wouldn't carry if you know you you ran down the street to the store to grab a, a thing of milk or to grab a, a coke like the things that are gonna be in your pocket when you run down the store for five minutes that's what I'm talking about what do you have on you uh, that's similar to that um, I, I tell people that ask me hey do you got a knife or hey can I borrow your knife do I have pants on well then I've got a knife so that's that's the only time that I'm not gonna have this stuff on me is if I'm, I'm at home uh, with all of my tools and all of my gear and I'm in basketball shorts relaxing on a Sunday afternoon enjoying time with my wife uh, other than that you know if I've got jeans or pants on this stuff's in my pocket so um, yeah let me know if there's anything that you uh, that you have that you think you'd want to share or that you think is cool um, or if you have any questions about any of this stuff uh, I'm gonna try to get a couple of more videos up uh, I've got I do have a couple of challenges that I wanted to try uh, to at least do and I haven't uh, I haven't made a uh, a coal from a bow drill fire in a in a long time uh, there for a while I was doing at least two a day uh, or trying to get two a day so um, I might I might try to do that or something so uh, 
thanks for watching. I uh, hope you have a, a great day, and uh, thanks for your time.